Hello, here I'm going to talk about Major Assignment 3. Uh, major Assignment 3 focus on humanitarian assistance to people in your local community. So make sure it's focused on humanitarian assistance project, okay? And this project is going to execute or implement after five years from now. And some of the examples that provided includes education, that is care and so forth, and make sure you read all those uh, information, all right? Now, here is a Excel template version that you're going to compute the financial uh, breakdown. So, uh, first and most important, make sure you enter your full name here on the rectangle blue. I enter XXXX, all right? Assume that like mining, so make sure you read all those instructions, however, on each section. All right, all right. This project or this X template has a personal cost, administrative costs, outreach costs, and the last one is program cost. Okay, each of them has been explained here. Their meaning or definition, for example, personal cost includes wage or salary for yourself and other employees, legal, also legal and or lawyer service fees and so forth. All right, just read each sections and their definition in here in this cell, okay? All right, so your job is going to be to enter value or cost for each category, make sure you fill this um, table for each category with the necessary amount of budgets based on your project, all right? So make sure you read, again, this all instruction, okay? How many, here there is, for example, you have to enter at least eight budget items in all. So make sure you read all those instructions, okay? Right. Once you enter those values or costs, you're gonna transfer those value here on the right side top table, uh, which is a budget summary. And then that is once you transfer those value, you can add up for each uh, cell. Assume I'm just assuming, okay? Your budget total is forty thousand. Let's say it's forty thousand. I just assume. All right. But in your case, you're gonna enter this value that has been transferred and add all of them up, okay? All right. Once your total budget is 40,000, sorry, it should be in a currency, okay? All right. I see you made budget total is 40,000. All right. The next step is you go to the table 3A and enter a CPI value that's based on the year that's given in your table. So you have been given that the month January and the year 2013 and you're going to add one more year until the table is filled. So in this case 2013 going all the way to 2018 right and the month is January. So I'm going to enter the CPI value for each year and month using this the link as on here the CPI value link click on it all right then you're going to check the first square hit enter on the keyboard so you're going to see this uh, CPI value January 2013 is 130.280 that's the CPI all right so I'm going to copy and paste on my Excel template all right I'm going to copy each of them all the way down until here okay i'm going to copy each of them and then paste on my excel all right so as i copy them all right
All right, here you go. All right, I'm gonna paste those. All right, just copy the and the paste the CPA values for each year. All right, here you go. Now on tab 3B, I'm going to enter the slope and the y-intercept value using the Excel function. Now make sure that the CPA value is entered as y value and the year is like x value. Always, almost always the time is considered as x value. Okay. Um, anyways, enter equal slope, type in slope, then double click on slope function. Then you're going to highlight the y value, which is the CPI, comma, and highlight the x value, which is the year. Hit enter. All right, that's the CPI, the slope. All right, equal the intercept is type intercept, double click on intercept. All right, highlight the y value, comma, highlight again the x value. All right, so use the intercept, okay? Once you have the slope and the y intercept, now you're gonna compute the projected year and uh, uh, projected cost, all right? So here in the green cell, you're gonna enter the year five years forward. So which means equal 2018 plus five years plus five year is 2013 okay so we would like to know how much would be the, the 40,000 how much would be the 40,000 uh, dollar after uh, five years that's so what we're gonna do all right so next we're gonna find the projected CPA value for that year which is for 2013, right? 2023. All right, so the CPI is computed uh, using the linear equation formula, which is y equals mx plus b. This is a linear equation formula. So we're gonna apply this formula, okay, here. All right, enter equal. Usually we start with equal. Then m is for slope. Click on slope times x, x is uh, here 2023, click on 2023, then plus b is the intercept, right? Click on intercept, y intercept. Hit enter. So my new CPI value is 262.854714, right? Now next, on cell H45, I'm going to compute the five-year inflation rate based on the last CPI and the old CPI, okay? So, the inflation rate is equal, open parenthesis, right? The old CPI minus, I mean, the new CPI minus the old CPI is the old CPI, all right, close the parenthesis, divided by the old CPI, okay? All right, I'm gonna change to this to percentage. Here you go. 6.5%, right, that's my inflation rate. Next, I'm going to forward my current budget, right? Hit equal, and I'm going to transfer my current budget, which is 40,000, right? All right. Now, last year five, uh, 
budget total projection that means how much would be the 40,000 dollar after five years given that the inflation rates and the new CPI right there's two way of computing this one the first one is you just open parenthesis the new CPI value divided by the old CPI value the old CPI value right times times your current budget which is a 40,000 right now after two after five years the 40,000 is going to be projected to be $42,418.65 this is one way to compute also the another way is equals your principal basically what you're going to do is the principal of parenthesis plus I'm going to enter the value though are the inflation rate we're going to use formula okay so to do so the principal is like 40,000 copy it open parenthesis 1 plus the inflation rate which is 6.05 all right hit enter all right yeah how to enter a multiplication okay all right it's 42,000 dollar and 40 for, for 42,480.65 cents okay so you can use this formula too all right next tab, tab we're gonna click on the next tab so on this tab there's a on cell b28 you're gonna transfer your projected uh cost right hit equal go back to the second tab click on the projected cost which is 42,480 okay all right click on it hit enter all right currency value all right we just transfer the projected cost okay on table six uh you can enter the sponsorship values so the sponsorship value for your projects is computed in such a way that on sale B32 you're gonna uh, enter the value however uh, we need to enter the interest rates on this table all right the so interest rates on March 2013 March 2013 March 2013 so this interest rate is gonna be here, all right? Okay, March 2013. Let me go down all the way. All right. So Jennifer, very March. March 2013, all right? Three point five seven. Three point five seven. Seven right. All right, I'm gonna copy this one because they are the same. Here we go. Now we find the value on cell B32. That means how much you're gonna invest in a financial institute using your sponsorship uh, um, cost. So basically, 26.4% of your total projected cost is gonna be invested, right? So hit equal the percentage times. 